There are few things I love more than making a formulation that smells fantastic without any essential oils or fragrances just because of the ingredients it's made from. Today I'm sharing five of my favorite fabulously fragrant ingredients with you. Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me and today we are having a bit of mouth-watering, nose-delighting fun with a partner video to one I released a couple weeks ago about five really not so nice smelling ingredients. This post is all about five ingredients that I think smell fantastic and contribute those lovely scents to our finished formulas. Now of course, as with all things scent related, whether or not something smells lovely or ugh, is a really, really personal thing. If you hate the smell of chocolate, I'm well aware that no amount of me rhapsodizing about unrefined cocoa butter is going to change your mind. The larger takeaway here is that these ingredients will add scent to your formulations. And as much as I love these scents, I definitely know that they're not always appropriate or desirable in everything. So sometimes I will choose a refined version of the ingredient or just choose a different ingredient altogether. The ingredients I'm talking about in this video are all ingredients that we include in formulations for non-scent reasons. So I'm not going to be including ingredients like fragrance oils or essential oils or hydrosols in this video because yeah, like those are pretty well known to smell great and then to be added to things to make the thing smell great. <laughs> refined versions of these ingredients aren't going to smell like much of anything, so we are talking about unrefined versions today. Day. That said, there is a lot of room for variation in the realm of an unrefined version of an ingredient depending on supplier, the crop, how it was processed. So make sure you are reading any descriptions from your suppliers and checking out any available reviews to get a feel for what that ingredient smells like. And of course, the advice that I shared in the video about stinky ingredients, about smelling your ingredients before you work with them, and always making a small batch before you dive in to make in a great big tub of something, that still stands. But anywho, let us get into five ingredients that will make your formulations smell fabulous. Ingredient number one is unrefined cocoa butter. Good unrefined cocoa butter smells mouthwateringly of high quality chocolate. I find that delicious chocolatey scent will start to come through in your formulations around the 10% mark, though of course that can vary with the batch of cocoa butter and everything else that is going on in the formulation. I especially love the smell of cocoa butter in lip balm where that chocolatey scent just makes me so happy, but it's also wonderful in body butter bars, lotions, creams, all kinds of things. The chocolatey scent of cocoa butter pairs really well with all kinds of scent notes that you probably already associate with chocolate. So things like citrus, vanilla, coffee, nutty scents, just Yum. As much as I love the scent of cocoa butter, it doesn't pair well with everything. So if I'm looking for cocoa butter's gorgeous, brittle, slippy loveliness, but I don't want the thing I'm making to smell like chocolate, refined cocoa butter is a beautifully easy swap. If you would like to check out some free formulations that you can make with unrefined cocoa butter, I have linked to five of my favorite formulations using cocoa butter, and then I've done this for all the other ingredients on this list, in the partner blog post. So please make sure you click through to that. It's linked in the description box below. Our second lovely smelling ingredient is virgin coconut oil. Virgin coconut oil smells wonderfully of coconuts, of pina coladas and delicious coconut cream pie and just yum. The rich buttery scent of coconut oil pairs beautifully with cocoa, citrus, vanilla, and fruit scents. And it can generally come through in your formulations at about 10% usage and up, though of course that can vary. If you love virgin coconut oil, I really recommend giving Baraka's traditional style coconut oil a try. It's processed in a slightly different way that gives it a gorgeous toasty kind of note that is just mouthwateringly wonderful. For projects where a bit of a mental trip to the beach isn't what I am looking for, refined coconut oil works really well as an alternative. You can also try babasu oil, which is so similar to coconut oil in terms of skin feel that I honestly have a hard time telling the two apart. Our next smells oh so lovely ingredient is cranberry seed oil. You have likely been disappointed by carrier oils from fruity things that smell nothing like the fruity thing. I'm looking at you, mango butter. Unrefined cranberry seed oil smells wonderfully tangy and fruity. I wouldn't say that it is super identifiably cranberry scented, 
but it does smell really fresh and tart and is just genuinely nice. You'll generally need at least 20 to 30 percent of cranberry seed oil in a formulation to have that scent come through, though of course it depends. I find the scent of cranberry seed oil pairs really nicely with citrus, floral, and fruity scents. If you don't want a hint of tart fruitiness in your formulations, you could opt for refined cranberry seed oil, but honestly, in my opinion, one of the biggest reasons to own cranberry seed oil is for the scent. So if the fruity scent of cranberry seed oil isn't desirable in a formulation, I simply choose a different liquid oil, and I've provided some specific suggestions in the Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia entry on cranberry seed oil, so make sure you check that out. Our fourth fragrant ingredient is plum kernel oil. Plum kernel oil doesn't smell anything like plums. It smells like almondy marzipan. This scent pairs really nicely with chocolatey scents, nutty scents, fruity, spicy, sweet scents. Just kind of think about things that you enjoy with marzipan and go from there. I find the scent generally comes through at about 10% and up, though of course it depends. And not all plum oils smell like marzipan. I have heard from some readers that the plum oil that they've bought smells like nothing. So do make sure you are paying extra close attention to the description of the ingredient from the place you're buying it. Mine is from Essential Wholesale and it smells wonderful. For formulations where a scent of bitter almond isn't on your desirable characteristics list, I would choose a different stone fruit oil instead, like sweet almond oil or apricot kernel oil. They have very similar fatty acid compositions to plum kernel oil and tend to be cheaper. And our last ingredient that smells divine is bayberry wax. I feel like this fragrant green wax does not get enough love, even from me. I should really make some more things with it. This lovely wax honestly kind of makes me a little bit homesick because it smells like a Canadian coniferous forest. It smells like sunshine hitting the forest floor where you've got pine needles starting to just let off their lovely coniferous scent and just that warm, lovely, summery smell of the forest plus sunshine. And it, oh, it makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. It's actually kind of making me a little bit sad. This wax also makes a really good vegan alternative for beeswax because it has, you know, that level of creaminess that is really hard to find in vegan waxes. So definitely another reason to check it out. I love pairing bayberry wax with scents that remind me of the forest. So floral scents, coniferous scents, really fresh camphoraceous scents. Yeah. I've shared several quite outdoorsy themed formulations using this wax, including a Moraine Lake lotion and a 1915 Redwood Beard Balm that I really recommend checking out. They're linked in the partner blog post below. And those have been my five favorite ingredients for making your formulations smell fabulous. If you would like to learn more about any of them, please make sure you are looking them up in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. The Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia is a totally free ingredient research resource located over at humblebeeandme.com. And of course, if you would like to make some things with these wonderful ingredients, I have included five of my favorite formulations made with each ingredient in the partner blog post linked below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.